this tournament that has gone so well thus far. Both teams are very experienced. They'll be looking to be the victors towards the end of the day. Missed out in the four-day competition as well. That was another beautiful shot of the back foot. Punching it through the offside. Teaser, and it beats him. The first boundary of the match. Oh, that is a glorious stroke. The bowler came wide in the crease trying to use the angle, and that's been hammered. Any others? Good shot, and that's gone for four. Just leaned on that one. Call's going to continue. Oh, he's edged it. Regulation catch behind the stumps. Good delivery, moving away from Hendricks, and he's on his way back. That's the first wicket down. The Indians opening bowlers have been asking questions. They've missed their mark on one or two occasions, but for the bulk of their deliveries thus far, they have hit those areas of uncertainty. And on this occasion, good length ball, moving slightly away. At fault, there is a Hendricks playing slightly away from his body. And it takes the edge on its way to the keeper. Up in the air it goes, could be taken, difficult chance, circling back, gets beneath it, takes a very good catch. That is a really good catch. Going back from 45, ball going away from him. The new ball partner of uh, Kaul has run back and taken a very good catch. And He made a lot of ground, got himself into a very good position and took a fine catch. And those are the sorts of things that when you play in finals, those half chances, they are really important. I agree with you there. Stand and deliver. And he's beaten him. Zondo's got it through. Breaking the shackles for South Africa. Eh? That one, I'll tell you what. I'll have to bat there every day of the week. Short pulled. And that's a good shot. He's put it away behind square for four. It's a great shot there from Fahad Bedin. Picked it. Nicely turned. Beautifully played. It was a lovely deflection. It looked so simple in its execution, but the knowledge that fine leg was quite square was so important to that stroke. He just let it run off the face four at each end. Oh, my word. There was a degree on of, of inevitability about it. He's just started to lose concentration the last couple of overs, and that has got to be a very disappointingly soft dismissal for Kaya Zondo. A massive disappointment for South Africa, eh? Delight for Axel Patel. A gift. Smother, good fielding. Oh, there's a miscommunication. It's going to be a run out. Oh, my goodness. That is the last thing South Africa A needed. He hit it straight to the man. It was good fielding, diving to his left. And a slight misfield. And Mulder took off and was sent back halfway. Between the two. This is how it transpires. Smothers it, good fielding at short cover he gets up and Mulda is in no man's land being sent back by his partner straight back past the bowler that's a lovely stroke finding his rhythm once again is Fahan Bardin that's a really good shot Oh, he's picked it up so easily. Whistled for four. Okay. 
Okay, seven from it. Oh, he's given it away, has he? He's chipped it in the gap. Oh, he couldn't have judged it better, and it's gone for four. My word. What a mess. He's nearly holed out mid-wicket and long on a back. He's miscued it and looking for maximum. It's a big hit. Flicked off the legs, and that will sail over the deep square leg for a maximum. I'll have a bit of that. Another big hit this time. He's hit it straight up in the air. There's somebody coming underneath it, and he's going to take a comfortable catch running in from the sweeper boundary together. A comfortable catch just outside of the circle. He's trying to go big. He's trying to go down the ground. Aaron Pangiso tries a scoop. He's gone for a big shot for Hornby Adin, and he's done this with ease once again to clear the long on boundary for another maximum. And he will move on to 94. time South Africa moves on to 249 just one away another big hit towards deep mid wicket is there a man coming around he's taking a beautiful catch at the boundary Aaron Pangiso found Karun going for another maximum not to be Big hit from Dane Pedersen. We did say he was capable of pulling out those big strokes. Solid hit to clear deep mid-wicket for another maximum. And here we go. He's come down the wicket, he spliced it, and it's gonna clear the sweeper boundary for, I think it's another maximum. A very good finish from South Africa, wrapping up the innings. And Mulder for fairly low scores, but the partnership from Behardin and Victorious got them back in the game, got some momentum. And Behardin went all the way to the end. Takua struck early, removing Riza Hendricks and finished off his 10 overs for 52 runs, picking up three wickets. Kahul also bowled well up front, picking up two wickets. That's uh, too short and too wide, and it gets the treatment it deserves. When we're talking about discipline. There wasn't enough shown there from Dane Patterson. Absolutely. With offered. And you are given the ability to free your arms. And that's exactly what Sanju Samson has done. The dig. That's easy pickings. That's too easy. It's angled down the leg side. And both these opening batsmen have been given a comfortable delivery to pack to the boundary to get off the mark. First, Samson got the short wide one from Patterson. And now Karen Nye has got... He's got to be mindful that he can't get too short. He's got him! That's beautifully bowled! That is top bowling, Junior Dala. He's forced him onto the back foot with a couple of short deliveries. Pushed it a bit, of full, but bit fuller. Induced the drive, the edge found, regulation catch for Klaassen. That is good stuff from Junior Dala. Lovely bowling this. Absolutely. I just felt that a couple of balls, he was hitting the deck, emphasizing hitting the deck on that occasion. Just getting it a bit fuller, asking Karun Naya to come forward and drive that ball on the app. As a matter of fact, finding the edge on the way to the keeper. Karun Naya, gone for four, eight for one technique needs to be tighter too short pulled away good stroke that's well played some authority against the short pitch bowling this time from Sanju Samson yeah the first attempted bouncer by Patterson doesn't quite get up 
actually brought Pedersen into the game right in his zone. Doesn't have to move much and dispatches that over mid wicket. Doesn't get up high enough, does it? From a, to be a good bounce, it's got to get up towards. Sometimes it's easy to pick up. Bowlers who've got something a little different can be awkward. Up in the air. Could be taken. Should be taken. Is taken. Dala gets his second. The short ball has worked once again. And India A are in a little bit of trouble in pursuit of this 268. They had 20 for 2 with Samson gone for 12. Credit must go to Junior Dala. He's been asking questions of that good left delivery. Found Andrew Samson in a very awkward place where it was not short enough but wanting to score and only managing to hit it straight up. And the backtracking Dwayne Pretorius getting himself into good positions and fingers up. Taking a cuff. Hey, Gully's come onto the offside again. At fuller length, flicked in the air. Wide of Madon, and that's running away. Dwayne Pretorius, he's not going to catch it. That's four more. Just slightly erring in line on that occasion. Top edged over the keeper, running away for four. Fortunate runs, but four nonetheless. Very promising over, but India A, they move to 38 for two. As we so he's had a very good series must be said he's been the standout and he's not gonna give this one away he's gonna be composed long on long off still out He is just a ruthless captain with the bat, isn't he? He's still only been dismissed once. He doesn't want to give this away. He wants to finish off the game properly and carry his bat. He's the one that brings on man of the moment. Shreyas Ayer, 136 not out. Two to go. Fielders coming into the ring now. Can he do it in style? He seems that type of player. He'll step up and put it away. From the way he's played, he deserves to finish this game off. Here we go. Oh, that's a way to do it. That's a boundary. One bounce, four. And that is a superb all-round performance from India A and there's the man who played a great hand today 140 he ends up on not out of 131 balls a couple of Indian flags that have gone come a long way handshakes all around a very good performance in the final of this tri series between Afghanistan A South Africa A and India A some experienced performers got them home in the end and Bit of a disappointing end of the competition for our home team, South Africa. Eh? Absolutely, India clinching that by seven wickets. A really, really professional performance, especially from that man, Aya. And this is how he done it. Pace taken off, rocks back, and just has a full go towards the vacant mid wicket region and the celebrations will begin and shakes Kaya Zondo leads his team off some good performances but India A have pipped them at the end on a very good performance all round CSA with their annual triangular series Australia A normally part of this they fell away to so their pay dispute. Afghanistan filled in their 
spot for the competition. And the two favourites, it must be said, were facing up in the final. Started off well, winning the toss this morning. India A had no doubt what they wanted to do. Stick South Africa in, try to put some early pressure, and then chase down in the afternoon. That's what they look to do. Shankar played a good hand, 72 off 86. He was vital in setting it up for his team. He didn't last. But Pandy replaced him when he was dismissed and got a handy 32 not out and kept his great run of scores of not out going. But the man who really took them home convincingly was Shreyas Ayer with 140 not out. Three overs and one ball to spare. Those are the big partnerships, 141, Shankar and Ayer. And then a very commanding partnership where Pandy and Aya took them home at a canter. Bowler's Dala got two early wickets and Pretorius got one to get Shankar out, but there's one way traffic ready. They played composed and they put some pressure in the second half of the innings. Really were commanding. And there's only really one candidate for his splendid 140 not out of just 131 balls, Shriyas Ayer, and he will get his trophy from Cory Finsail. Shriyas, congratulations. An important innings in a final, coming off a little bit of indifferent form in the rest of the competition. Yeah, it was much needed because the start which I got in the tournament, I was really batting well, but I couldn't convert them into big ones. And I think this was the right opportunity to convert them into big, and I was getting right singles, and yeah, I think I converted really well, and I'm really happy. I mentioned to Kaya Zondo the fact that when you came in at 20 for 2, the game perhaps was just tilting the way of the South Africans. It needed a cool, calm, composed way of playing, and for a youngster like yourself, you must be very proud of that effort. Well, yes, me and the other batsman, on the other hand, we had decided that we would be taking singles no matter whatever the situation is, but just keeping, keep taking singles and, you know, put pressure on them because they were coming really hard on us and we just wanted to relax and keep ourselves calm. You talk about the pressure coming on, but it seemed that they were the side to break first because you were playing a very good ones game and then you got the opportunity to get a little bit of freedom and you picked up the boundaries that ultimately became a comfortable win. Yes, initially, as I told you, I mean, they were coming really strong on us and, you know, uh, they were talking as well. So I thought I shouldn't keep quiet. I also give them something back. So, yeah, that, that kept me going on. And, you know, me and Vijay Shankar, we put on a good partnership. And from there on was the momentum totally changed. Congratulations on a splendid knock. Thanks a lot. The man of the match, Shriya Sire. And so to the Tri-Series man of the series. He scored over 300 runs in the competition and he was dismissed just once. It's an easy one. It's the captain of India A, Manish Pandey. Congratulations, Manish. I first of all want to talk about your individual performances. It really has been a sublime performance from you to be once out in a tournament of this nature and score over 300. You must be very proud. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, that, that, was, that was my role because you know I was batting number four and five, uh, trying to you know take the middle order with me, bat with me, and get some partnership. That was my uh, my my plan, and that's what I've been doing the whole tournament. And I think it has uh, come up well for me this time. Let's look at uh, probably your most significant knock of the competition was the one where you got home by just a single wicket and you ended up 90 not out. It gives you great comfort to see your side home in a in a performance like that. Yeah, definitely. You know, the winning um, is always uh, important. Uh, so I think, you know, as I said, uh, trying to be in the end, uh, play with the middle order was my was my goal, and I did that. Yeah. Let's look at today. Obviously, a comprehensive performance. As I said to Kaya, two games in the round robin section that were really tight. The manner of your victory today, particularly the way the two youngsters played, must fill you with a great deal of pride. Yeah, definitely. I just want to, you know, uh, congratulate uh, South Africa also for giving us a lot of uh, competition this time as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, and we had a talk about somebody from the top order getting runs, and it was uh, Ayer's uh, chance today. So I thought he he grabbed it pretty well, and uh, I'm happy for him. Set it up a little bit with the ball initially because it's a good toss to win, but nonetheless, the new ball bowled superbly with great discipline to get what they could out of the pitch to reduce them to 32 for three inside the power play. Yeah, definitely. You know, the whole tournament, the fast bowlers bowling really well. They've been picking early wickets for us, and then that automatically puts uh, the pressure on the you know, batting side initially. So I thought that was the plan, and uh, they did that very well. 
Obviously, this is an opportunity for India A players to always look at high honours. Many of you have tasted the opportunity to play on the India side. But such is the nature of Indian cricket at the moment. You winning this tournament, the Indian side doing so well in Sri Lanka. Indian cricket very strong. Yeah, definitely. No touch wood. I think uh, we are going good uh, at the moment. And I think we should be you know, focusing on trying to become number one wherever we play. Well, congratulations on your victory in this tournament. You and I'd like to ask all the Indian A team to come up. And join the Victoria skipper, Manish Pandey. The victorious Indian ASAD. Convincing winners in the end of the Tri Series come to South Africa and play tremendous cricket losing one game which was right at the beginning of the tournament against the same self same South African A side that's a lot of experienced players there Chahal in the front the captain Pandy Aya they've all tasted RPL cricket and some international cricket as well so that's their management team